I wasn't able to videotape anyone taking the CPAT, so I took it myself. I am 120 pounds, 5'2", and I don't work out that much, so I haven't been training for this test which was quite obvious to the CPAP proctors. I think the prediction will be fatigue on the stair stepper. The hardest part for her, getting through the ladder without slipping the halyard. Mm -hmm. If she gets through that, that'll be great. Looking at her coming around here right now, she might have a little problem on the stair step. But I wanted to get hands-on experience and see for myself what an average woman can do. The first event was the stair climb for nearly three and a half minutes, wearing 75 pounds. This makes your legs feel like jello. Then there's the dry hose drag, where you kneel and pull 50 feet of hose. The 50 pound vest is worn throughout the test. Event three is the equipment carry. Each saw weighs about 35 pounds. By this time, I could feel the fatigue in my arms and body that drop would be a fail. <laughs> Event four is the ladder raise. The rope is made of nylon and easily slips through your fingers. Event five simulates breaking through a door or wall. Most candidates can do it in five hits. It took me 20 hits. Event six simulates searching for a victim. And event seven is rescuing the victim. But my victim was left behind. I'm sorry, Demi. I'm leaving you here. The final event is breaching through a ceiling. You must push and pull a weighted platform. Finally, I finished. I was out of time and didn't complete three events. When I got to that dummy drag, couldn't do it. Pull-ups, just couldn't do them because you need some upper body strength where I have none. Rachel did very well overall. Um, did well on the stairs, which I really thought she was going to fatigue out and grab the rail. Didn't, so kudos on there. The dummy drag, definitely a fatigue point. Just a weight issue. Got a 165 pounds versus 120 pounds. Could Rachel pass this? Yes, she could. Um, with a little bit of specific training.